Creating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. talking about this light right up here that stupid thing. on air that stupid thing on air why did why wasn't it working i don't know on it air it wasn't working it's friday oh, it's friday bum, 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 bum. it's friday it's friday is that your i'm getting tired of that little song well here. i'm getting tired of, i love want to hear your old song what do you mean old song dun, 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 that song what? The one you had before. You mean uh, the one that goes... Now I'll get a thing from da, 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 da. YouTube. Da, da, da. You can do it once in a while. No, you, no, you can't because then they'll, they'll tell me... They'll tell me that I gotta, you know, pay the money or something. And this song I bought. Da, 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 okay, that's da, enough da, of that. Oh, I like the last part. Yeah, I know. But that's all I know point. is now after the show, I'm probably going to have to write a letter to uh, uh, to YouTube explaining that I have the rights to the And your music. point is? No, my point is I'm sick and tired of having to do You've that. Got because it. I all you have to song. do is copy-paste it. You have no. the letter already written. No, I don't. Well, you should. That's silly. You should keep a copy on your desktop. And you do a copy paste, and there it goes. Because for some reason, I, I bought this from I, I got this from the service that I that I subscribe to, where anything that I download, what quit I'm doing just that? Looking. Anything that I do, uh, anything I use from there, yes. I can use forever. Okay. Yeah. Well, apparently, maybe they made a deal for a little bit for that music, and then the company decided not to put it on that. There. Well, anymore. you have the letter. Well. So there you go. And the conversation. I just don't like to have to deal with it. What, just so you can hear a couple of fucking bum, seconds bum, of that bum. stupid dun, song? Dun, 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 or the two dun, stupid theme song, dun, too. Dun, 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 the horrible dun, theme song. Dun, 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 Hey, Alex, do I see a clean new shirt? No, this is an old dirty shirt. <laughs> I see a clean new shirt no, on you. Here, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to argue about this? No, 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 no. I'm glad you're wearing a I have shirt. three shirts that I have here that I rotate through. That, by the way, have been sitting there for eight plus months. Maybe longer. Maybe but, longer. But I only wear them for like it, two it, hours it a night and I don't matter. do anything. In the them. body it's odor like, from the from the body no, that only no, washes no, every no, two no. weeks. You didn't, couldn't smell any odor. It only takes odor. a shower every you two weeks. You couldn't smell any odor on there at all. It needed you a couldn't. wash. It needed a wash. Anyway, so I put them over there so you wouldn't have them sitting on your chair, which is where I put them. And what did Women. she do? She takes them and puts them in the wash. Now, on top of that, she puts in a suede shirt that it's I It's not have. a suede. It's not a suede. It's ultra suede. It's, it's cotton to look like suede, and I've washed it in the washing machine before for you. Yeah, but it should be dry clean. No. It no. should be dry no, clean. No, no, It no, should no, be dry no, clean. No, no, Listen, no. don't start up with me. Don't start up with this me. This has not been a happy day for me. Well, whose problem is that? Huh? Whose problem is that? UPS's. Well, you know, Mr. Gloom and Doom here. No, I'm... I'm, I'm uh, He's sulking. I've decided that I'm never going to order anything anymore. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. From Amazon. No, from Amazon, unless it's the only place I can get the decent price on it. Because anything I want to buy electronically, I can go down to Best Buy, I can show them uh, the, the site. What are you doing? This, don't touch anything there. These are my little pads that I bought them from Well, the then office. take them back. See, selfish. They're my pads. You can barely write anything on those. I put. The, well, I see your handwriting on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, where was I? See. No, that I can go to. I can go to Best Buy, like I did about a week ago, 
and show them an Amazon ad and say it's cheaper on Amazon and they give you that price. So why shouldn't I go to them? They're a local merchant. Do and it. Let's, uh, let's see how long this will last. You know, uh, but that's for electronics. Let's uh, see how long stuff, this will last. For other stuff, like for tea, I can go over to, um, what, what is that? Uh, Sylvia's? No, no, Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh -huh. And they, they have a lot of different flavors. So, you know, I mean, what happened today, once again, and I, I, I'm not using the post office, I'm using UPS, and UPS is usually pretty good. But we get, I get this notification that says, we tried to deliver, but you weren't home, or we, sorry we missed you. There's a sign, I get the, I get the thing, I got, got it up here, it says, sorry we missed you. Well, unfortunately... And this is our third attempt. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got this message at... Uh, 5.59 and they tried to deliver at 5.56. <laughs> now I'm in the house and I can hear the doorbell from here. Of course. Sometimes you can't hear it in the bedroom because there's some kind of weird yeah, thing going yeah. there. But back yeah, here I can. can hear it and I'm working back here during it. No, they didn't ring up. I didn't hear them ring up. Sorry you missed me. You didn't, you, what? You didn't try to see me. I'm going to pick my finger. She hates it when I pick at my he finger. He picks his fingers. Mm. It's so hey. gross. Mm. Try and get over here. No, mm. just tell me the rest of your story. Anyway, so, oh, the numbers are really high. I guess we're, <laughs> guess we're yelling at each other enough tonight. Well, he changed his shirt and he took a shower. Well, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me finish the story. So we missed, sorry we missed you. What? Sorry you missed me. Sorry you didn't try to get to me, you know? I mean, it really pissed me off. How about the other day, the buzzer? And, and it's only it's only like a bunch of, you know, K-cup tea and uh, uh, a, a cord, a microphone cord, which, you know, it's, it's not much. I could just say, fuck you, I don't want it. And they say, and it's not even like, we'll re-deliver to you tomorrow. No, on Monday you can pick it up at a UPS access point <laughs> Which is only a half a block away, but the last time we went over there, it took us a half hour to get something out of those people. Okay? It wasn't a real UPS store. It isn't a UPS store. It's a UPS access point. <laughs> you want to see a UPS access point? Right here. <laughs> well, last week I got the buzzer. I was with you. Yeah. We get the buzzer. It's downstairs. He says, UPS, I left, let him in, and I never hear from him after that. Yeah, I mean, what 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 happened to this guy ringing all different bells, hoping one will answer? We'll let him okay. in, but where's my package? No, I, I'm sorry, I rang for a second. Oh, nothing. I'll I'll leave this this note up here. Oh, and by the way, we're not going to bring it back to you. So I called I called Amazon, and I thought, you know, Amazon used to be pretty damn good. If you called them up with a problem like this, they went, well, you know, since it wasn't delivered to you on time, and blah 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 blah, and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we're not going to charge you for this item. I got to hold one of these cameras here that way, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, I said, I didn't get it, and I need it. And they said, well, we'll send you another one out immediately. And I said, what if the other one does come eventually? They said, eh, keep it. Forget it. That was the old. The old Amazon. The, the old Amazon. Okay, here, here's the newest thing Amazon's doing. It's really pissing they me off. They passed Apple, I think, in terms of branding and sales really yeah well i know in sales i'm sure i'm yeah. sure because they sell all kinds of everything stuff. all apple's selling are apple. electronic devices and apple at that uh but um they um what was i was gonna say i have no idea oh no uh no so what you know the company used to be pretty good at customer service like the customer was the most important thing and he has to be happy over anything even the company and uh, you used to get some great service out of them. And uh, it has ceased to be. It, I call them and I'm getting somebody in, I don't know, India, India and uh, who doesn't, who can't do anything for me. I said, I just want to cancel my order and then put in a new order. You know, why shouldn't they eat lunch on this deal? And he goes by the name and of I Tom. Said, and I said, I also want it tomorrow as an accommodation to me because I should have gotten it today. And the woman says, there's no way I can do that. There's nothing on the computer that allows me to do that. I cannot, I cannot cancel an order until, it, until the delivery day. I said, well, the delivery day was today, and you didn't deliver it. Well, it, delivery day now is Monday. Well, no, but that, that's not what I want. <laughs> so I tell them, put me on with your supervisor. supervisor. Yeah, right. 
And I'm. And she taps on the girl now, look, next door I, to her. I want to tell you something. Amazon, if you're fucking listening to me, listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. You make billions upon billions upon billions of dollars a year. Don't you think with just a smidgen of that money, say, oh, I don't know, let's say it's going to cost you 100000 I don't think it is, but let's say 100000 You know, that's like, like farting money to you at Amazon. Could you please pay for the rights for some decent online weight music? <laughs> you know, you could be playing all the hits, you know. I know that Sirius XM, for all their music channels, which they make money off of, paid about $200 million a year for music rights. So the music rights for you to put on the whole thing would be very, much smaller than that. And I'm saying... A hundred thousand. I'm a hundred thousand seems small. Yeah. In fact, you might even ask some big name companies if they'd like to actually have their music on while while people are waiting because it's it's kind of a sales thing. Sure. You know, we're selling your music. Why don't we play some of it? Mm -hmm. But instead, I'm getting this thing that isn't even a song. It's a loop over and over again. I can't even. I I should get it online now and let you hear it and then run it for the rest of the show to drive you crazy, okay? Can't they get some... Well, anyway, they put me on hold with this fucking music uh, to get the supervisor, and it doesn't... Nothing's happening. So I figure I'll call... I'll, I'll hang up on them. Fuck them. So I, I start calling um, uh, UPS. And as I'm calling UPS, I get a call from Amazon. Amazon and it's uh, hi you want to talk to a supervisor and, and we noticed that we disconnected you I said no you didn't disconnect me I hung up on you because I was sick of that stupid music and I told her what the story was and she said well uh, um, hold on I'll get a hold of UPS and tell them to make a redelivery tomorrow and all of a sudden I'm back on with dump da 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 bump it up da da bump it up da da and I finally said fuck it I hung up. I go on to UPS and somehow they made a a notation that they're gonna deliver tomorrow. So there you go. There you go. No, there I don't go. Look, 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 it's been a Well, I have to stay around all day tomorrow so they don't get sorry they miss me. And then when I stay here all day tomorrow, they they'll don't still, come anyway. They'll still sorry they missed me because I was here today. Sorry yeah, they missed me. They won't come. They're not sorry they missed me. <laughs> they don't give a shit that they missed me. They don't even come to the stop. They just put the thing in the mail. I mean, I got my notice inside the mailbox. Well, mine isn't in the ma mine is wasn't in the mailbox. It was a sticker outside. Mine was of inside the mailbox, which means. They were in the building. Well, they, they were outside the building in this case, but, you know, we have a guy who sits in an office all... Uh, and for, reads or eats. And, and reads or eats, and he's not really a doorman, but he's they, there. They call him the superficial yeah. guard. And, and all the UPS guy has to do is go to him and say, hey, could you open the door for me so I can leave or, something or inside? Can, yes, exactly. You know, but no, he didn't do that. And the guy would have been happy to, you know. And every other UPS guy somehow knows how to get in the building. You know, except this more. Oh, so he, what I did was I've learned. I learned this from living in San Francisco that if UPS is going to deliver and then they don't deliver, or they miss you, if you just in, in my case in the Marine, if I knew the route, if I drove around within a certain square block You'd area, and it was not large either. It was like a maybe a five or ten block square in block. In New York, area. some of these guys do one yeah. building. Yeah, I would find them. Okay. And I say, hey, I was home. Okay, and the guy got to know me after a while. So I figure I'll go out and see if I can find the truck. And as I'm, I walk out right to the right-hand side of me down about a block is a UPS truck. I figure that's got to be it, right? I go out there, and I stand there waiting for somebody to come for about 20 minutes. And they finally come, oh, no, I don't deliver to that building. <laughs> well, where is the guy that delivers to I that building? Know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, right. Nobody knows nothing anymore. It's true. It, it, it is just absolutely amazing. What it's is true. What are some of these people writing? I'm just thinking of turning off know. the chat tonight. Why? I don't like them. Uh, a, a couple of them I like. He's in an old man goofy mood. 
I'm not in. <laughs> but I have to admit, he did take a shower this week, the first time in almost 10 days. Yeah, uh, Forbin writes, uh, Amazon warning, my packages are being left a mere feet from the sidewalk outside my building. <laughs> Yet the delivery confirmation in my account states it was handed directly to the customer. <laughs> Total fabrication, yes. It's yes. true, it's true. Uh, that may be, uh, was that UPS? Oh, okay, it was UPS. Probably. Uh, uh, let's see here. It says UPS's new policy is to deliver to the building and not the apartment door. Well, then come inside and leave it inside the building. But what inside the building? Can't it, in New York, you cannot wait, wait, leave it outside oh, the hold building. Hold on a second. Tell them about the big sign that the owners of the building put in each lobby of this building. There's Both, four buildings. And then also right on the outside at the door, too. Tell them what it says. It says, please do not leave packages in, the, in the lobby. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Please leave them at the door. apartment door. And they're inside the building. Yeah. And, and it says you it can't there. turn off chat to a prime customer. Yes, I can, Forbin. You want to see me? <laughs> I, 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 as the administrator of this account, can I have a little thing I can click that just says no Delete. chat. <laughs> Delete. You, know, you people enjoy talking to each other instead of listening to the show so i'll uh, and it is better than the show i sometimes uh, uh let's see here Farman says marjorie you look like some like some piece what piece feel of ass? free to slip alex a quaalude and you can get some relief <laughs> for hours oh like you need some peace uh, okay like, i want the quaalude you like some peace uh, i like the quaalude yeah well the only thing is that i my quaalude dealer uh no longer is doing that uh mr cosby is now going to jail so <laughs> you know we can't do it uh, so um anyway that's my that's my whole thing with amazon and it goes on and on and on i have to say that i told them don't let the post office deliver and well, so, I told them that too. Yeah, especially this last time. And on the whole, UPS has been okay. The post office is a half a block from this apartment, and I refuse to go. I rather have my package sent back to the shipper, and 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 as opposed to walking down to that post well, office. Now, one of my guys, one of the UPS guys, has an assistant who can't speak. I don't know what's he, wrong. He's with mute. Him. Is he? Yeah. Well, he says something. And, uh, the, yeah, well, that's not mute. Well, he's it's, getting... it's pretty much mute. Yeah. He can't talk. I, well, I think that's an excellent hire on UPS's <laughs> part because I understand him more than I do the people I talk to in uh, in India <laughs> when I call and try and get stuff done for them. So they're a pain in the ass. So that's our day. So these I, are the problems I, that so old I, people. I can have go to get my with. fucking twining tea over at over at Bed Bath and Beyond, and I'll get a healthy walk you out of it. You can get it right at Fairway. Yeah, I've got an entire aisle of, of, of just the K teas. cups. Yeah, well, you have to check. I don't use them, but well, yeah, but they're not as they're more expensive than if you I, don't know. You've yeah, never I been there know. to check. I do know. Do they have Pete's K cups? Mr. Grouchy here finally took I'm a not. shower after almost ten days. No, I ten days. It, and because I do the wash when the when the when the basket gets full, there was one pair of underpants in there, one pair of male underpants. Do you know something? What? That's, that's a big fat fucking lie. <laughs> not, you know why? why? And then you must be doing a wash every day because what I do is some days I throw a pair of underpants in there that aren't aren't even dirty that I haven't even used just so you won't do say this to me anymore. Don't listen to him. So you should be getting like about three every time you do a wash. I don't. I don't. I look for the track marks, and there are none. The skid marks? Tra yeah, skid marks, <laughs> I guess. Maybe I'll use that as my radio name, skid marks. Skid marks. Mm -hmm. Bennett. It's 1024. It's too bad. Yeah. I'm not, I, we're up to, uh, it says 29 people are watching right now. Hi. Hello. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not letting you off the hook till we hit thirty, and then we'll no 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 don't it's come over. It's Don't come over. Don't come over. <laughs> he does this every time. You can't come. You got five minutes. Five minutes. Well, it's five minutes of my sleep time. So, uh, are you getting enough laughs out of our president? Oh God! Did you hear his speech this afternoon? Oh, the one with uh, Angela Merkel. Yeah, the one where he said. Um, He's going to to fix North Korea and and get a, a a Nobel Peace Prize on it. 
Did, did he say Nobel Peace Prize? He's, well, he's been saying it. He's like lobbying for a Nobel yeah, Peace Prize. Yeah, because Obama got one. <laughs> so they're going to give him a Nobel pre pe pe with peace, peace Prize. Prize. You know. Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, now I heard his speech. Oh, we, we hit 30, but just stay there. Stay there. No. Don't come over. <laughs> Don't come over. Not yet. Not time yet. Um, where was I? I have no idea. Uh, no, he wants. He's been lobbying for a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. Didn't T Chuck Todd say that today? Yeah. That he he was lobbying for it. Yeah. He's. I should get. I'm. You know. I'm saving the world. No. Oh no! I'm not going to do it. No. It's, this is something I'm going to do, not for just for this country, but for the world. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Those are his words. Yeah. For the world. Right. World peace. You already did something for the world. I think The Apprentice is on in several countries. <laughs> so. Uh, no, he um, uh, he thinks he's going to get, get a, uh, a, a Nobel Peace Prize, and he's not because he is so offensive <laughs> yeah. that they're just not going to give him a Nobel Peace Prize. Look, he, they gave somebody who really probably wasn't shouldn't have gotten a Nobel Peace Prize. Obama should. Obama have gotten, He was have. only in office what a month. Or yeah, two? it's something like that. So uh, you know, if they can give it to somebody who doesn't deserve it, they can give it. They cannot give it to somebody who might have done something he they, doesn't deserve but they it, just period. find him obnoxious and oh, disgusting. So disgusting like if i were the nobel peace prize committee or you're a member of it would you want him showing up to your <laughs> to your thing plus he wants the million bucks the, you know. the latest is he was complaining because his wife has only been on a magazine cover once where michelle obama was something like 50 sometimes doing different magazine covers. <laughs> well, uh, yes, but there's no magazine out there called Fake Tits Magazine. So, uh, but there are a lot of muscle fitness <laughs> magazines that I think she got on a few of those. She was... Uh, She's tough. She was, she, you know, she really not knew how to handle it. You know, she looked good. She looked good. That's great. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, he, so he's, he's, he, he's griping now. Hey, I want the Nobel Peace Prize. You don't ask for a Nobel Peace Prize. And he was, he was griping again about how the United States, States pay, pay, pays for most of the, um, um, what's the, what's the unit, what's the thing that he's a part of? North Atlantic, NATO, uh, NATO, NATO. NATO. And how we're paying for most of it and countries aren't putting in their share. You don't say that at a big news conference with, well, Chancellor Germany. Uh, Angela, uh, to, supposedly, the French Prime Minister left not happy. Yeah. He, he well, his speech at Congress was yeah. very good. Well, that speech he gave a con in Congress was to get even with Trump for, for all what the, he said for all the stuff he was telling him personally, and that he uh, he just went away just disliking Trump intensely. Merkel didn't like him to begin with. Yeah. Merck, but both of them came with the same intention to talk to him about Iran and about the, the whole Iran, Iranian deal and what, you know, well, what's going to happen with that. So uh, it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's something. What are you coming? You, you're coming over here, and I'm not ready to have you come over here yet. No. Huh? No? I'm here. Well, uh, I'm here. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me get a few things it's done. 1028. Here. Let me do a couple of things here. Okay. So it was very discouraging. In fact, I said fuck him loud, and I'm sitting at my desk. I didn't realize that I said it out loud. Hmm. And did people react to you? I think they were saying the same thing. Say, what are you what are you saying fuck you for? Oh. Boy. Yeah. She thinks that if she yells at her TV set, somehow he's going to hear her. I don't care. It makes me feel good. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, you can come over now. Oh, roll me over. Yeah, I, and I opened up the lines, too, and I hope nobody calls because then you'll be forced to stay here I'll and just talk with me. Hold on a second. I got you. stuff to do here first. Just, you know, let me do my work. I want to put this in the middle. Huh? There. Well, wait a minute. Now, now you screwed me up. I get blamed for everything. Well, no, because you, 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 you. I, I'm trying. You're, you're moving microphones around. I'm trying to, to make things work here. And you're having problems. Yeah. I don't know why this didn't go on tonight. It could be the batteries running that out could here. Be. And Change if it the runs battery. out, no, you can get me a new battery. Alex, I bought that for you. Huh? See? Didn't come with the there maintenance. Ah. Okay. What? I didn't buy the maintenance contract for you. You didn't buy the maintenance contract <laughs> on the... Uh, You're on your own for that. I see. Okay. 
Anyway, so we're, we're waiting for people to call. I have no idea if anybody's going to call us tonight. Is it a fill-free night? Huh? No, last night was a fill-free night. Uh, I missed that. Yeah, uh, which was a, it was, it was a good show. You know. Where's Jeff Stein when you need him? Well, he'll call. Don't worry. I'm just, we're just waiting here for people to call. It's Where's I, Albert? Well, Albert called once. I know, but Albert, call again. I'm, I'm on Friday nights. Well, maybe he doesn't listen to the show. Okay, that's a possibility. There we go. Okay. And he thinks a possibility. Oh, there we go. Oh, Lee Presson. Hey, uh, Lee Presson. Hey. hey. Yeah, wait a minute. No, wait. I'm back. Well, look at wow, him. Wow, look at that microphone. Uh, no, but, no, forget the microphone. Look at what he's wearing. That's a, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, what is that called? What do they used to call those? Well, a smoking uh, jacket? A, a smoking either jacket? Either a dressing gown or a smoking jacket. Smoking yeah. jacket. It's, it's a sm it's, and that, you are that so is, natty. Yeah, that, that is, is that nice. Is really amazing. <laughs> Somebody's got to carry the fashion trend and, and, here in California. I'm the only one left. And you well, it goes well with your microphone. You either, you either have a cat or a dog in back of you. That is a dog. That is the roommate's dog. The roommate's dog. Uh, oh, I see. Is that the roommate's bed? <laughs> hey, hello to Alex Bennett. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything. Yeah. Is that where the roommate sleeps? Uh, no, no. This is where I sleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so business isn't that good, huh? <laughs> Uh, well, okay, there she goes. There she's off. Okay. No, she likes to come in and visit. Oh, I see. Okay. So anyway, yeah. you've got, uh, uh, so you have a studio where you sleep. So do I. <laughs> oh, that's the bed that's back there where yeah, I sleep. I have, a, I have a bedroom over in here, and I made it into a second studio. We call it the Meyer Studio. Meyer Lab. Right. The Meyer Studio. <laughs> And I just wanted to let you know, dear, that Alex was exactly this grumpy about 20 years ago, too. Was he? Oh, yes, my he was. God. I want you to know that Lee holds, Lee holds the distinction of being the house band on the last program I ever did in San Francisco. I mean, and at, I'm proud at, to say Live I was. at Live 105. Wow. And, uh, you, but you didn't know that was going to happen, did you? I didn't know until after we'd played it, no. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when you were it's doing like, the show, oh, they who's were going to put us on the radio now? <laughs> well, well, it was the first time I think you had ever done a, a, a breakfast with Bennett. I think we've done did, had you, three. Oh, you had done three. Okay. Yeah, we did uh, one. We did one where you were at first initially very impressed with us because why wouldn't you be? Yeah. And then um, <laughs> I think we did one at the station. Lee, by the way, in case people don't know, show. has a band hmm? called Lee Press on and the Nails. That's right. I, yeah. I never showed. Up. I never was on your show by myself. I'm no good without them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it still exists. The band still exists, and you still work. It does. Do gigs, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We played. Uh, let's see. We played the USS Hornet last Halloween. We really? played. Uh, we play a nightclub in Oakland every year for New Year's. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. this, and now it's wedding season. Yeah. Oh, so you do we weddings. Good, good, yeah. good gig, you know. Uh, and graduations. And that, you know, it's the summer festival circuit. And proms and graduations. Well, not so no, they can't really no, afford no. to hire proms, bands no, anymore. Prom, proms, they want DJs. <laughs> now, now they do DJs. They want yeah. DJs. I was talking to... Yeah. Uh, uh, I used to play proms back in the back last Back in century. the day. Well, my old friend Buddy Love was staying here with us for a couple mm -hmm. of days. And uh, he was talking, we He's were talking still doing about it. it yeah. And he, he said it's rough because all the things that used to make him money, now they just go out and hire DJs. You know, yep. weddings, funerals, <laughs> whatever, you know. And um, luckily, I'm also a DJ. But, it all, <laughs> it, but I'll tell you, it all, it, it, it uh, reminded me of my father because he was a musician. And mm -hmm. uh, he made his living as a musician and then he didn't make it anymore because they were hiring combos and he was a violinist okay. oh yeah so it's it's you know it's, that's the way it works you had in the old days in the 40s you had the band and you had the singer and those were two separate entities and right. then the beatles introduced us to the concept of the self-contained singing band yeah yeah. Uh, and then bands just kept getting more and more compact. And there was no singer and there was no band. Everybody right. was a musician. You know this now story. My, our friend Phil Meyer here looks perturbed that we're not paying attention to him. Hi, Bill. Phil. Hey, how, you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Hey, all Phil. Right. So, tell us all about your last show. Uh, 
Yeah, it was uh, it was a Spanish group uh, at the UC Theater, and uh, I, I have to look at the photo pass to remember their name. But the uh, I have a friend. His name is Rick Fishman, and he has a group called Rick Martini, and he has that similar kind of thing. There, he's out of Oakland. Do you know him? I do know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a good friend of mine. I, I know I, Rick Martini. Yes, yeah. Well, that's Rick Fishman. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you know? What do you do? It, all oh, comes we back play around. it always comes back to people Phil knows. I know everybody. Yeah. Alex, I know <laughs> everybody. There is well, no one I don't know. Okay. And most of them like me, except you, of course. You know. <laughs> Although you did name your second studio after me. So we I'm, did, we you know. did, we did, and it's nice. Did you take them on a walking tour? No, I am. Uh, no, I'm, I may do a show out of there next week. Not this show. And with that, I'm saying good night. Good night. Hey. Okay, good, good night. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come back. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, watch her. Watch her walk out the back door here. Watch this, folks. See? Look at that. Look at that. There she goes. There she goes. Oh. Woo! My shirt. Well, I thought Let you were see. showing me your tits. My shirt. What? Oh, and Citizens United. Yes. Okay. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Okay. All right. Man. Yeah. Did you ever play with him or what? Uh, no, no, no uh, Lee. Oh, uh, I thought you meant. I thought you meant her tits. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm on the guys. whole other. I'm on a whole different side of the country. I can't play with those. No, um, he's got a single bed, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just looks like that from back here. Actually, it's much smaller. Um, <laughs> yes, people. I played. I've played. I, I don't think I've actually done a show with him, but I've seen him on. We all know each other around here because there aren't very many of us left. Yeah. <laughs> but there's Rick Martini, there's uh, there's uh, Big Sandy and the Fly Right Boys, Steve Lucky and the Rumba Bums, LaVey Smith, of course. And then down in L.A., you've got the Royal Crown Review and uh, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. Oh. Yeah. You were the only one of us that ever went platinum, so good on them for that one. Yeah. All right. And otherwise, there's no business. There's, there's like 10 of them, and there's only business for one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, there uh, used to be a whole bunch of us, but now when it comes to swing band, there are only like four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, so I just want to remind people uh, to give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. But if we don't, uh, fuck you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. So, uh, so you did your photo shoot last night, right, uh, Phil? Yeah. 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 Did you have a good time doing it? Yeah, actually I did. Then I went to dinner and it was... Uh, yeah, you know, I only stayed for the first three songs, and uh, then I'm out of there. Well, it's every other Friday, and that means that Jason is calling. Hello, Jason. How's it going? How you doing? I'm uh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. How's the little woman? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> was uh not calling for a while because I was down in Cleveland for like two and a half months. So why, why were you in Cleveland? Working. Oh, work. Don't the jails have phones there? <laughs> the Gabnet doesn't take collect calls. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what uh, what uh, what were you doing down in Cleveland? Just they moved your bi work down there or something? Or no, you like you know how when they came into your apartment building, they put fiber optics in. Yeah. So that's what I was doing down in Cleveland. Oh right, okay. So, but you weren't you going home every night to your? Oh no, me. That's like a four and a half, oh, four really? four and a half hour drive. So what happens on the weekends you come home? Every third week. Yeah, or did, how did they put you up down there? Yeah, put me up in a hotel. They they, they put you up in a hotel? Oh, wait a minute. He's trying. Hey, all right. Okay. Cool. What? He Just letting you guys know. Can, uh, no, can you play a little on that thing for us? I can, yes. Yeah. Since I've talked to you last, I've got a, I've got a, more, uh, I've got a more powerful computer. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt his story. Oh, yeah. So anyway, so you put in fiber optic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, uh, my first job was like a lower income apartment complex, but uh, you know it was still it was very different than uh, the lower income apartments around here where I, I live in Detroit. I, so. I, I love fiber, you know. Uh, oh yeah, it's not great. Not only does it make you shit like a bandit, but also yeah. <laughs> no, I love fiber uh, and I, I love the speed of fiber. But the only thing I didn't like is the installation because that wire is so thin and flimsy 
that you're afraid that it's going to like break off or do whatever. You know? Yeah, if you glue it up right and you put it in you know, the wall at the top and nope. take it down the wall at the bottom and it's on a plate, well, you know, you well, don't have to then, then I've got this big thing right in back of this computer here that's like this, this block with the power supply and, the dun, 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 and you know, and uh, it, they didn't exactly the last, oh, I don't know, five feet, they didn't exactly tack it down or anything, you know. So, uh, but it, uh, <laughs> so far I haven't had any problem with it, but, you know. Yeah. No, ours usually, you know, in a finished building like yours, we'd glue it in the corner along the ceiling mm -hmm. and then we'd drill a hole in the wall and then drop it down the wall and put in a regular in the wall socket. Oh, really? Well, they didn't do that yeah. here. They just, the, the wire, the, yeah. the last cable just kind of comes over here, loosey goosey. And then there's a, some kind of thing, some kind of electrical thing it goes into and then it comes up and goes into this. See, the, that's that's why Verizon isn't as good as AT and T. Well, I mean, they could have done it. They could have done a better job of installation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus, they took my existing cable, of course, and used that to route to the rest of the apartment. Oh, you know, which kind of makes a cable, doesn't it? <laughs> you talking coax or Cat five? It's coax, Cat five. Yeah, for Cat seven. Oh, those are two different things. Coax and Cat five are two different but things. I th it, well, it's it's whatever they use for most cable companies. I don't know. You know, the, and the cable the black round wire is with just the one copper wire in yeah. the middle. That's yeah. coax. Yeah. And you know, we want to be using that unless it was to backfeed TVs. Yeah, but if, if you go in, they 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 you know, I'm I'm saying the fiber comes up right to the back of this computer. Okay, yeah. but then beyond that, they hook the rest of it up to the rest of the ca the system that the cable company had put in, you know, so <laughs> to get around the house. So they didn't like fiber optic at all everywhere. No, and actually what I'm putting in, I think most of what works off of our main modem is all wireless. It's all Wi-Fi. Well, we have, I have Wi-Fi here and I'm using, I'm using the Wi-Fi more and more in other rooms because it happens to be pretty powerful. Uh, but uh, in this apartment, you could not feed the whole apartment with just a Wi-Fi. No, that's, that's crazy. Your apartment is the same size as my house, but yes, my house is but, two stories. But, you, but the walls are... Yeah, they're uh, probably old walls, and concrete, oh, oh, plaster. It's just, and... you know, br it's just brutal, okay? Alex, Alex uses semaphore uh, rather than yeah. Wi-Fi. So what I did a long time ago is I put a... Uh, a uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, kind of a repeater in my bedroom and and then did hard wired it into that repeater so that, that part of the house is is fed by another repeater so they have tech talk huh that's no. a good i like <laughs> they, they it's more like other, tinker talk <laughs> they have other repeaters out now that are more like cell towers mm -hmm. so you just program your you know whatever your wireless device to the one and then you move into another room, and it feels it sees that it's a stronger signal from the other one. It'll automatically jump to that next one. I used and, the repeater until they took out my prostate. <laughs> How's your butt doing? And that's what's known as frequency <laughs> hopping. <laughs> really, uh, I watched a documentary tonight that's going to be on PBS uh, next month called uh, Bombshell, the Hedy Lamar story. And she, as a movie star, invented a process called frequency hopping she was always tinkering with you know inventions and things like that and patented this thing called frequency hopping which prevented the enemy from any, being able to home in on say a torpedo by a signal because they would have the signal constantly changing and what that today has been used as it's been used in Wi-Fi. It's been used in Bluetooth. It's used in uh, uh, any number of, of uh, a GPS. Uh, and they say that had she renewed her, uh, what do you call it, her, her patent, which she didn't do, that would be worth a total of about $30 billion. Uh, Making her one of the everything. wealthiest women in the world. What? Timing is everything. Well, no, timing isn't everything. She just didn't care to renew it. She didn't, didn't think they, anybody wanted it. The, uh, the Navy took it, put it in a back room. It's kind of like Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, and it sat there <laughs> until they finally decided they didn't want it anymore, and they sold it out to somebody else because the patent had run out. And he took it, and he then applied it to cells, towers, and things like that. This, 
that but without her invention wasn't she an actress or something yes yes probably one of the most beautiful actresses that ever uh, uh, appeared in films uh you I know who i'm talking, talking about her before you, you, you know hedy lamar is don't you uh yeah, she was an actress and a scientist, and I think she ran a small town in the West that a black sheriff went into. Oh, wait, that was different. No, that that was Headley Lamar. <laughs> That's Headley. They bring. They have. I Mel, know that she actually sued Mel Brooks over that joke. Mel Brooks. Yeah, Mel Brooks. <laughs> and had, that case settled out of court. But that Mel, I know. Mel Brooks is in this documentary, and and they show a scene with the Headley Lamar thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> By the time she got that old, she didn't have she didn't have a great sense of humor, but she was kind of a funny woman, oh, yeah. uh, you know. Um, you know, she said, "All you have to do to be beautiful is to just look stupid." And uh, she was very much she hated, the, you know, the the whole thing. Oh look, Phil got a phone call. Yeah, he's popular. He's not like me. I've only got three people here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'll show you one of my inventions that I made when I was in Cleveland. Oh, okay. okay. Get so bored sitting in a hotel room by myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell it's a tequila, 1800 tequila bottle. That looks a lamp. great. Yeah. That you made into a lamp. Yeah. I took a, a empty tequila bottle and turned it into a lamp. Now, how do you turn that into a lamp? Do they have little kits where you can make lamps yeah. out of stuff? Yeah, and, there's like 15 bucks and, by a little lamp kit. And the wire kind of goes off to the side, right? No, I actually, I did it right. I got yeah. a drill. Yeah, you drill a, a hole in Glass there? cut bit and mm -hmm. drilled through the glass. Well, you know what I would like to hear? Uh, could you play something for us, uh, Lee? Oh, I, could give you a, I could give it a shot. Let's see what we got here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Vibraphone. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Whoops. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. And uh, let's see. What does what does uh, Alex know? Alex knows what. Is that? Oh, dear. It's, it's running slow because I got two programs going, but Istanbul. Hey. Istanbul. Now, you see, I know that song. I know that song because when I was a kid, I actually had a 78 of the song. It's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Live 105 loved that song because it was also a well, modern rock. The, well, the, uh, uh, the It Might Be Giants did it. Yeah, But it was exactly. an actual song from the 40s when Istanbul changed its name to Constantinople. It's true. <laughs> Istanbul, <laughs> Constantinople. Why they Istanbul. It, I can't say. Yeah. <laughs> but some people liked it better that way. Yeah. There's one more point I wanted to show you before we... Uh, this is one that I use for the Spike Jones songs. Okay. <laughs> so there you go, Alex. That was In some you. secluded rendezvous. Exactly. That overlooks the uh, avenue. Instrument called. What? Is that a xylophone or what, what's it? Looks like electric bell. It is a it is a mallet controlled uh, electronic device, so I can use it to trigger anything. Bells? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bells. Yeah, I, say, I was in sixth grade. I was in a uh, band, and I played the bells. Like that? Yeah. I say it was the bells. It looked just like that, you know. Yeah. But basically, basically, its layout is a, is a vibraphone, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I can trigger vibes or xylophone or marimba. Or now, what's the, the difference other... between a vibraphone and a vibra harp? Same thing? Uh, same thing. Okay. Yes. A xylophone has a little short noise like this. A uh, vibraphone is unique because you can sustain notes. Yeah. Okay. So is a vibraphone what I'm talking about? The bells? Uh, bells? No, what I was playing earlier. It, it looked like a piano, basically, except for there are these big metal bars. You know, and you're hitting them with your little... 
Oh yeah, yeah. Those are those are uh, bells or chimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The one instrument I would love to be able to get my hands on is a glass harp. Oh yeah. You know, it's just the glass. You know, runs through the water, and you put your fingers on it just like you do on a crystal. Uh, oh right, uh, right. Champagne glass. Yeah, I know those. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They they're saying when it was invented that you shouldn't listen to it because it'll make you go insane. Well, the one I wanted always wanted to get. I was, haven't noticed that. I almost <laughs> I almost bought myself a, um, a, a what do you call it a uh, uh, what was the electronic instrument a theremin. Oh yeah. I almost bought uh, almost bought a theremin. <laughs> uh, I I played one once, but I I almost bought one because they weren't that expensive. They're only a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Uh, Camel, you had some white little keyboard. It was like that that long, and uh, you could program the different keys for, for different sounds. That, that was my penis. Uh, no. <laughs> Small and white. <laughs> Small and white. Right. I'm going to quit out of this program now because my, my computer's being taxed. Oh, okay. But, uh, no, no more playing. But anyway, I'm back. Hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we'd hey, like Phil. to hear from more people tonight. I, I don't know where they are. It's uh, just us? Huh? Oh, great. <laughs> Welcome to the Phil, Grump so Joe have you Band got to show. find out if uh, you uh, get a climax yet or no? Not yet. Uh, it, it'll probably be six months to a year before I can, uh, uh, you know, touch me there. <laughs> well, well, no, right now what comes out is dust. So, a little puff of smoke. A little puff of smoke. Well, that was before the prostate issue. <laughs> wow. It, 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 you know, there's just got to be a better way, you know? It's just got to be a better way. To well, then, then what? Well, he no. had his prostate removed. Oh. Yeah. Can't. Uh, well, we used to, we used to, <laughs> yeah, we used to. Eat red meat and smoke cigarettes and drop dead at 50 like real Americans. Yeah, yeah. Instead, we want to live forever. What's this all sure. about? You know? Sure. Uh, no, but, it, it, you know, I mean, I, I just think, I don't know. Sometimes I feel they use a sledgehammer when they could use something a little more delicate, you know, to solve a the scalpel. problem. Uh, <laughs> some old guy named <clears throat> uh, uh operated on you know, uh, maybe it's Leonardo himself. <laughs> maybe it was some, was, some was, was Ninja Turtles. Did, did he have your permission or did he just rush right in? And <laughs> they knocked me out. Uh, you know, <laughs> me you too, an me alley too. And took they, out your they, liver. Yeah, they wanted to sell my organs, but. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 and oddly, enough, you, and oddly enough, not for science, but for liquor. Yeah, but they, you know, they looked at they looked at my body and they said, "Hey, you know, we got to help this guy. He can't steal his organs. Yeah. <laughs> it won't work anyway." Yeah. So, but now let me ask you this: Do you like after having that procedure done? Do you have the drive? You're like you're pissed off that you can't. You know, are no. My my major concern is to make sure that the diapers don't leak. Uh, you know, that's that's my major uh, claim to fame lately. You know, is the diaper dry? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Depends. Yeah, that's <laughs> hey, Amazon. <laughs> Let's see, here. Renee. Why aren't you calling tonight? I notice you're on the uh, on the uh, Skype the chat. Oh. You know, we haven't heard from Rob. He's back from vacation, but I, I got a note from him. But uh, I'd like to hear from him. How do you uh, get to that chat? You know, I'd like to bust some of those. Right on the side, right on the side of the uh, of, of the video is the chat going. The Skype or YouTube? Uh, the YouTube. Oh, I don't know. I'm on the Skype. I, I'm not on the YouTube. So yeah. here's a question. Last uh, episode I was listening to was when Albert called in. Did he ever call in again or no? No, he hasn't called in again, but I'm sure he will. And if he doesn't, I'll bug him about it, you know. Um, but, it's good to hear him. You no, know, it's great to hear him, you know. One of my favorite people in the whole world. Uh, Lee probably doesn't know who Albert is because you didn't. No. Fo you didn't follow my career to uh, Sirius XM, but no, I didn't. I didn't give a damn after you left San Francisco. I mean, who cares? Yeah, I did. Fuck <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> no, we got up at six in the morning. Yeah, that was a th that was a thing about me on on Sirius when I first went on Sirius. I went on from ten to one in the morning. Because I figured it was like 7 o'clock in the morning in San Francisco or then on the East West Coast. All of a sudden they said, we'd like you to go on at 7 in the morning in New York. And I'm going, 
It's four o'clock in California. Who's going to fucking listen to me in the, on the <laughs> West Coast? You know, and I, 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 I had the I had the feeling that was the beginning of the end for me there. Yeah. Well, wasn't it like seven to ten though? You're on for like four hours. Well, it was seven or three no, hours. It was seven to ten Eastern during, but in the beginning it was from ten to one. But then you went to like nine to twelve, right? No, the, no. First, I started at, at, at East Coast time, nine, uh, ten to to one. Yeah. So that was seven to ten on the West Coast. All right. And then they put me on at 7 o'clock in the morning in New York, which, you know, then made me Alex, going on at 4 Alex, o'clock in the morning. Alex, three-hour show always sounded or felt like four hours, you know. Yeah. 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 Thanks for the joke. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. pathetic. I think I get more people calling tonight. Oh, jeez. I don't know why. I mean, not that I'm not unhappy with who I have. Uh, two of you, at least, I'm very happy with. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, did you, uh, Phil? Uh, I hate to bring this up because then he will go epileptic or apple apoplectic. Excuse me, apoplectic on me. But uh, did you, uh, did you, did you hear the president today with his his plea to give him a Nobel Peace Prize? <laughs> no, I wrote you on Facebook when you were talking about that, and I said it's because Trump needs the money. And <laughs> I think he does, it's a actually. Noble PC prize. Uh, I, I think he deserves it. For know. what? Why? For what? He wants it, you know, and he's participating. He so, single handedly uh, ended the North uh, the Korean War. Yeah. Kind of, you know. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Did I miss something yeah. about his presidency so far? Give him the participation trophy and the million dollars that goes with it. The participation you heard the trophy. Korean War is over, right? Yeah. I don't know who's uh, trying to uh, call me, but they're using it. Wait a minute. Whoever's trying to call me, you're using an old uh, thing. You're using an old... <laughs> don't use an old thing? You're using yeah. an old... Uh, 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 what do we call it? Co a group, group thing. I got an old thing. Uh, and it looks like, oh, here, here. So here, old they had to remove here, it. Here, here, yeah. comes, here comes Renee. Here she is. The the oh. elephant in the room. That's what I like to call it. The Hello. elephant in the room. Hello, Renee. Hey, look. Hey. Hey, Jason. How's it going? Hey, by the way, take a look. Take a look at that smoking jacket, okay? The only yeah, I was just going to say, leave press on. It was, uh, I love the, the serenade. Thank you very much. You, you know what oh. he also doesn't have? He should have a fez. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that might kill the look, huh? Because then you'd, the you'd be ready to go to a cigar bar, you know. <laughs> well, let's see what I can do here. See, then Lee press on. You would have nailed it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one. Oh, before. here we go. <laughs> here we go. Let's try this. Well, a hey, Jason, welcome back. Oh, oh nice. Uh, what? <laughs> what is that? A bat How's hat? That? A bat yeah, hat? Yeah, my my Disneyland bat ears. I <laughs> see. <laughs> 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 Um, um, uh, so, of course, Renee does probably feel that, that Trump should get a Nobel Prize. Um, what the hell are you smoking? A I Nobel know. Prize for what? You, you know, you don't, you don't beg for, and you don't troll. <laughs> well, that works, too. You, you, well, <laughs> it's wait, funny oh, hat night. Oh, wait a minute. I've got my oh, funny hat on, hold but on, his hat's hold, funnier. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Uh, <laughs> Everybody grab a funny night hat. Get, get away with that. Okay. <laughs> Tony's uh, oh, <laughs> lampshade. <Good>. Perfect. <laughs> Best one. <laughs> Just get on top of the okay. table. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, here and here. Okay. Everybody there. calls to okay. come on with a funny hat. Okay. They're very hey, Jason, good. nice bottle, by the way. Did you drink all that tequila or did you get that? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Mexican. Th th there we go. <laughs> that, that'll counter the, uh, the hat that he's wearing, the Make America Stupid Again hat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, uh, no, uh, it, you had the president today literally begging for the Nobel Peace Prize. He's been asking the last couple of days saying that he deserved it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, you, you know something? Uh, if you want to argue that Obama didn't deserve it, I might agree with you. He wasn't president long enough to deserve that kind of accolade. Of his... He did. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, 
Uh, uh, if anybody doesn't deserve it, it's him. And he hasn't got a shot because the Nobel Peace Prize people don't even want him in the same room. Okay? So he can beg all he wants. And you know what's going to happen when he doesn't get the Nobel Peace Prize? He's going to throw a hissy fit. Oh, the twi the mm -hmm. tweets the next day. The oh, oh, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, a f it's fake awards. What's your rig? Give it to Huh? You know, fear who's going to get the Peace Prize? Who do you think is going to get it? The Ayatollah? Uh, or uh, I don't know. You know, I mean, President of South Korea. It, it, <laughs> yeah, hey, South Angela Merkel, maybe. Uh, she's she's cooked. I don't. I don't <laughs> know, you know who. Would he's get the it. worst. He's the worst kind of boss you could actually have. He's if something good happens. He's gonna take credit for it, whether he fucking did it or not. He's gonna take I'm credit. Not even some people's boss, and I take credit for stuff that they did. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, oh, but it's oh. only but it's only flooring, Phil. This is the entire <laughs> world, okay? It's funny during the correspondence dinner, he's gonna be hiding out here in Michigan, like about fifteen miles from me. Oh, well, he's going to Flint. Drink the water. Yeah, last hopefully he year, drinks the water last, in Flint. Last year, he said that he was going to go to um, uh, the correspondence dinner this year. Yeah, that's what he said last year. Yeah, yeah but apparently he's a lying sack of shit is what his uh, This year he's going to go to Washington, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Washington State <laughs> in Michigan? <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, he's very thin-skinned, and he doesn't like to be kidded. And, and the idea of the correspondence dinner is it's kind of like a roast of the president. And then the well, president be turns so around. Good if he went. The, roll call? What? Who is, he gonna, who is he going to send in his place? You think he's going to go after they uh, accused him of sexual improprieties? Who? Brokaw. Everyone. Tom Brokaw. <laughs> yeah, nineteen at last count. What? Trump. Trump is at nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Brokaw is at one. Oh, Brokaw. Yeah, right. and. No, I think he's at two. No, I think he's at one. No, no. All the people at NBC, uh, the women, uh, wrote and said that they've known him for years and he's never been uh, uh, had any improprieties or, or anything to that effect. But this one gal uh, who I think was living in London, uh, and uh, I forgot her name. She wasn't bad looking, uh, but uh, she's, she's filing a complaint against him. And he even, he admitted that he went over to her hotel or something one time her and was apartment. hitting on her and she was saying, you know, I'm a Catholic, I don't do this. And he's like, I felt bad afterwards, so I left. I got news for you, I'm Jewish, Catholic well, girls. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let, let, let's talk to the woman here because she has, you know, she has an opinion on these things. Is there anything wrong with a guy hitting on a woman? But then if she says no, saying, well, okay, see you later. Well, no, hold on a second. Was he invited to the hotel room? It was her. No. Okay. Yeah, then. it was her apartment or something, I think. And no, he then, wasn't invited. You know what? If you show up unannounced or uninvited, uh-uh, get the fuck out of my face. Well, no, but she said she, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't, wasn't interested in anything, and he got up and left. Well, but see, if I were interested in you, I would have asked No, but is that worthy of him having to, say, lose a job over or a career. Or a you career. know what? These things seem to have a lot of depth to them. So let's wait and find out if there's... Because I know three of his colleagues that are female have come out and said, yeah, no, he didn't do oh, that. Oh, you mean innocent until proven guilty. I was surprised you liked that. Seriously, <laughs> when have I ever? Well, no, uh, I, mean, I, went, I mean, no, look, but, look what, you, what you're describing is very similar to the Salem witch trials where somebody would just say she's a witch and they would they would hang her. You know, they, so far we know that uh, Bill Cosby's guilty. You know, he was he was he was convicted by a jury of his peers. Did you now, see all the people that untwittered him? No, no people. No, the list him? is like twenty deep of high end. Well, then I think I think I, then I think I may Twitter him. Just may, yeah. may well, the problem is, is I saw David oh. Letterman interview Jay Z. Yeah, and I didn't realize Jay Z's a tall guy. Um. But Jay Z said, "Oh yeah, he's he's very good at what he. I didn't know if he said the word brilliant or he's just great at what he does." And that was like last weekend. I'm like, okay, well maybe I'm I'm judging a little too much. And you know, I mean, he's a rapper, and I don't hear all of the stuff, and I don't follow the Kardashians. And then he comes up with this, and I'm like, wait a minute, what? wait a minute, 
Jay Z, are you, are you, you don't know your rappers, do you? Kanye West. Do you mean are Kanye you? West? About Kanye. Kanye. Oh, Kanye's got the same hat, but his is signed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, Kanye true. is just promoting a, an album. What? Do you, what can yeah. we say? You know. That's, Hello, that's, Patrick. How are you? Dandy. Da he's always dandy, folks. Uh, he's got his hat on too. Let's see your hat. Okay, oh. forward. Only easy day was true. yesterday. Yeah, good, good. Shoot that. Uh, hey, so Patrick, when I was in Cleveland, I saw a car down there, and I'm just curious if you've ever seen it before, because I've never seen it except for in Cleveland. It's called the MV1. It's basically it's a car that is specifically designed for wheelchairs. Oh, I've, I've seen them, and let me tell you, it's like a smart car. It's like if you want to make sure that you're going to die. That's <laughs> oh, man, this, this sucker was like awesome looking. It was like, you know, it's like an SUV. Oh, but right. It has a, a spot. You like you dock your wheelchair in the passenger seat and then transfer over. It's awesome looking, I thought. It's yeah. it made in the old Hummer plant. The, the thing that, that I don't like about those vehicles is a lot of them the wheelchair is the actual driver's seat mm -hmm. and um to me if you're ever in an accident or something um i don't know how fucking safe that's no, it, 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 like in the van that i've i've been in you know getting transported to surgery and back and that's fuck you're holding on to dear life yeah, it did show it as the, the, like, it showed a picture, like, the wife was in a wheelchair, and she was in the, the front passenger seat, and it was her wheelchair locked in place, but I read something on it that said something about it, it has a, an extra a transfer kit for if the wheel, you know, the person in the wheelchair is driving the vehicle, you know, to be able to transfer over into the driver's seat. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be I to push you out the door. <laughs> I, I at the top of a hill. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. How are you? Hello, how are you? Oh, okay. Good. Good. That's not Santa Claus, folks. That's Kevin. He oh. is Santa Claus, though, a certain specific time of the year. Because uh, <laughs> you, you, you can't have that beard and not make a buck off of it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. You know, this, co this comes under the category of Phil's state right shit. Uh, yesterday, or the day before, Alex, you were talking about how there's a new ramp in front of your building, and it's because of a, a person who had to have a wheel, is now in a wheelchair, and so they had to install the ramp, and you were really happy about the ramp because, you know, you get to use it, too. Yeah, well, and, I mean, for my, for my, when I'm coming back with my thing from Costco, you know. Right. Yeah. So, in the state of California, we said what was going to be the best for everybody was that all commercial structures have to be wheelchair accessible. You need to rip out some of the curbs. You need to rip out some of the parking lot. You need to make it so that a wheel so that there's a ramp, not necessarily wheelchair, but there's a ramp so everybody can use it. And then that became law across the state of California. Only, if, only if you do a remodel. Right. Uh, if you're if if you haven't touched the building and you haven't done a remodel, you can have the most uh, what main friendly yeah. for cripples. In uh, certain uh, cities, you don't have a choice. No, not really. Just don't no, do anything. No, but no, there is there is a guy running around throwing lawsuits around because they come in. He comes into town and he says, "Oh, that guy doesn't have a high." The enough bowling power. alley in Moraga, California, got shut oh, down. Did you let Kevin finish? Hmm? Would you let Kevin finish? Oh, I was agreeing with him. Uh, no, that's, that's all right. That's what, all right. Was, what was this guy doing? He was running around uh, throwing lawsuits around saying that that guy's counter was too high and this guy couldn't get in, which was perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> Here, you look was, at Patrick. Look at Patrick. The problem is he was getting, you know, he was getting, he was costing the uh, some of these small businesses money. Usually about ten grand. Yeah. yeah but the, point, the point of the matter is, in regards to this, is that, it's only going to be a plus. So it's not like Patrick's the only one that uses it. 
for God's sakes, UPS uses it. If you deliver office equipment, you use it. If you're a water yeah, but guy, let, let me let me let me let me say something here. When you have a building like mine, which is uh, notable uh -huh. by its age and by its structure and type, uh, putting in a a ramp it does not it, does, it kind of does not make it look pretty. However, I still approved of it because it, it, it was easier for me and you just got to get used to the fact that there are ramps now everywhere except they are they, none of Patrick. the Patrick I think Patrick's got something yeah. to say about that. Oh, by the way, none of the other buildings have ramps. We do cuz we're gimpified here. Yes. <laughs> yes, Patrick. I know I've said this a zillion times. The thing is if if it's a small business and they're not remodeling, um, the ADA did not require them to do anything. And they shouldn't because it's a small mom and pop shop. And the thing is, it's like everything else. If I can't, there, there's a bar that I went to in my 20s when I could walk. I used to go with my friends, have a drink, hang out. I can't, I haven't been in there since I got paralyzed. You know why? They got four steps going up in it. You know what I've done since? I don't go there. Do you think they miss me? No. There's plenty of other people that go. I mean, it's called the free market. And if they don't, if they wanted me there or they were worried about a cripple, they would put one in, but they shouldn't be forced to. Well, okay, go, Jason. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Jason. That, that, that's kind of the shitty thing about that law though, or ruling, though, because the Mayans and Aztecs they can't remodel their pyramids because if they do, they have to put in ramps to get up to the top. Yeah. True. Now, if you're talking about a single shop, it, I can I'm going to side with Patrick, but wow. we're talking about strip malls. We're talking about a whole bunch of stuff. Well, they're usually wheelchair accessible. Right. And, and so the issue is, is you were, Alex was so excited about it. And I'm like, my God, why doesn't every state have this freaking law? They do. It's called the ADA. George H.W. Bush passed it. Or he signed it. And now he's in a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> that was the ADA Act. And I thought it was bullshit then. And I still do in many cases. Um, you know, the the best part is it does not force anybody unless remodeling and i think that just that just common sense if you're going to remodel and you're going to spend money anyway you may as well make it accessible mm -hmm. and if you're building new it makes zero sense not to make it a hundred percent accessible and the only building that i feel that should be retrofitted regardless of if they're remodeling or not are the ones that I'm paying for with my taxes, which government are government structures. Which was which was brings up a point is that I was working in a warehouse and it was a strictly a building materials warehouse where we had lumber, and that was it. And we only had trucks come in, and that was it. We didn't have customers, we didn't have anything, but we had to do some remodel to the to the office building. And we were required to put, it was uh, six steps up to the warehouse, and we had to put an elevator in. Yeah. And we never used the elevator in the eight years that I was there, but we had to put the elevator in, and I had no problem with it, but it was kind of ridiculous. We never, ever had anybody come in. There was never any regular traffic come in. There was never customers. There was never anything like that that went in there. But we still had to put it in, and it cost them, I don't know, 15 grand to put it in. And it was it was useless, but it still had to go in, and there was no way around it. Jason was next. Jason. Jason. Uh, you know, and I would say on that, too, that uh, it, it, my work, you know, there's requirements in order to do my job. So you can't be, you know, physically handicapped in order to do my job. So at our garage or our meeting place in the morning, they remodeled the bathrooms and they had to have a handicap accessible bathroom. So they did that on the second floor. There's no elevator or nothing to get up there. So <laughs> if somebody's in a wheelchair, they yeah. can't use it anyway. You know, and that, that's just, you know, some of the laws or whatever, they're just really stupid. They don't look at the bigger picture. There's, there's more to these handicapped stuff in a bathroom than just for wheelchairs. 
you know, uh, people are, uh, you know, might have trouble uh, getting up. And so they got grab bars and so forth. Uh, but I have, I have trouble getting up to that second floor too. Oh, I like the grab bars. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you. I, I'll tell you something. I uh, want to thank people like Patrick for making those those toilets available because I like the room in them. Yeah. And yeah. Hey, yeah. Alex, you know when they put an elevator in a parking structure like at the airport, and there's Braille buttons on uh, <laughs> the parking structure. What? Who? What? blind guy is going up the elevator and getting into his car and driving <laughs> you know see why do you why do you even trash that why not well look at the hat yeah yeah, oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah. you know <laughs> when you I'm wear when you wear that hat hands. when you wear that hat you have an obligation Okay. Right. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> I might have to get up and go do the same thing. <laughs> it, 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 okay, of all the things we could discuss, and it, the placement of Braille on elevator buttons is not something I'm In a like. Parking structure? Were you going to get your car? Come it, on. It's not the only person. You haven't even talked about the Braille instructions on the ATM at the bank. Let, let, let me let me say this, Phil. Maybe could it well be that the elevator company who made the elevator already had those things pre-made for their elevators so that wherever they were installed, they wind up with those there. That's pretty you, much it. But yeah. you assume, that, you're just assuming that the only people that ride in that elevator are drivers. No passengers, no kids, no uh, any of those, no old people ever ride in that elevator. No. Just drivers. Yes. Hey, maybe a blind person was told by his drug dealer to meet me on the floor, you know, yeah. floor C of the parking structure. Yeah. And I'll get a here. blind pop. person was told by his deaf drug dealer. There you go. <laughs> place where mute the people deaf. can't talk are yeah. going. <laughs> and cripple. Let's see, we went we went down a really big rabbit hole. <laughs> Pull us on back. No, but it, like, for instance, the reason why we have a ramp here is because one person in this whole building, in this, this part of the complex, um, uh, it, it has a wheelchair. And so he needed wheel, they needed wheelchair access. And, and this is like a metal ramp that they put in. I guess they can, the person moves out, they can take it away, but I'm hoping they never leave, you know. <laughs> there was a section in Architectural Digest that they sent me an email about uh, really cool ramp ideas and entries to uh, and entries to buildings and the ones in in Europe they it's like art it, they've done such a well, they, really great yeah, job they, of they, integrating they it. could have done something here to maintain the integrity of the architecture but let's face it uh, my landlords are a bunch of yids out in Brooklyn you know and they're not about ready to do anything uh, to make this place look have. better. Okay, so all the science... By the way, I can say that I'm a yid myself, so... Well, are they Russian yids, and do they have Russian hookers? Because they're really good-looking. Okay. okay, all right. We'll have to ask Trump to find so, out. Excuse yeah. me, when he wears that hat, he, he like... Uh, he, uh, uh, what do you call it? What's I'm trying the word? to figure out how the joke attaches to what we were talking about. Yeah. No, no. no so uh, stop using logic. Good luck. They don't use facts. They don't use logic. Yeah, no. <laughs> and don't use logic with Phil, please. Logic right. has no no place in his life. Yes, you have your hand up, Renee. So on May 9th in Brooklyn, Science Friday Trivia is going to be back on stage. So if you're in Brooklyn, you might want to buy a ticket. If you want to go to... This is nerd talk. Sorry. <laughs> Today was Science Friday. <laughs> hey, no, the uh, the tie-in was, uh, you know, in Brooklyn. Don't, ex don't try to uh, create the, you know, don't, don't even, you know. You're, with that cap, you just channel Trump, and I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. That would be funny. Why don't we write a, a have a gadnet night where you put a hat on and you have to be that character for the entire show? Oh, Phil, oh, Phil, no Phil's doing it right now. <laughs> Shucks, what an what, interesting so Alex idea. Alex is a communist and you're Jack in a Box? Uh, you know, yeah, well, uh, the Mad Hatter? What is it's that? the cat in the hat. Cat in the hat. Yeah, and quite frankly, I, like, I, like, I love Lee's uh, smoking jacket. I've got to get a smoking jacket. But do you have to smoke in order to have a smoking jacket? No, no, you don't. No, it's it's not necessary. They don't check credentials. Why do they out. call them smoking jackets? I mean, did people put them on when they decided they were going to have a cigarette? 
I guess so, yeah. In the old days, uh, men would just put this on over their clothing so that they had something to wear at home and they wouldn't get their suit dirty. So when they got home, they would take off their blazer, they would put the smoking jacket on, and this would commence in their nightly ritual of drinking and smoking. So if the cigarette ash fell it on was, the thing, it didn't hurt their suit. It was more right. cigar than cigarette, I think. Or yeah. pipe. Well, yeah. Or pipe, yeah. My father was a smoker, so uh, so was my mother to a lesser extent, and he was mm-hmm. also a boozer. And I like Barbara Bush, who once asked uh, uh, about her children, and he says, she said, "Well, I when I when I had uh, Bush Jr., she says uh, I smoked and I drank, and that's why he is the way he is." <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. I see Jason went and got a drink. I might be doing that soon. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of drink? George W. Bush is very happy that he's no longer the worst president ever. No, no oh, yeah. I, I, Trump did take the heat off of him. There's no question about that. Yes. How do you, how do you feel that you didn't you weren't in on this little news last night, Phil, about your boy that he in fact admitted that Cohn was doing work for him in the Stormy Daniels case? Uh, it was kind of a, um, a half-handed. It uh, was an, I, it was I, enough news. to bring it up in court, and he he the, uh, Fox got rid of he it. Said, I think he said, you know, he did he did work for me, and you know, I don't know about the Stormy Daniels stuff. And it was uh, the, the way he phrased it. The way he, he phrased it, of course. The way it, he phrased it, he said he's not rep- one breath. He Stormy says he's Daniels not lawyer. All. Second Stormy Daniels lawyer. Stormy Daniels, Stormy Daniels lawyer was having. A really good day yesterday after that phone call. Uh, yeah, and he said he was. She was. He. They had business deals together, and uh, that it had nothing to do. But also, no. But no. But he. Out- no. Wait a minute. He admitted all but admitted that <laughs> Cohn was work was doing work doing the Stormy Trumpers Daniels work for him. What? You know, you were never Trumpers are all the same. But you know, uh, what happened today is the Congress said that there was no the no collusion between the Trumps. Trump or the Trump camp and the Russians. No, that was no, the no, no, no. That, that, that was the minority. Uh, that, that was the GOP findings. Yeah, it was the GOP you didn't, findings. You didn't uh, documents. Oh, uh, and, and, but team. there also happens to be a Democrat, Democrats on that committee who came up with exactly the opposite findings. Wait, was, was, was there any ink on those 300,000 documents? Or were yeah. they just a stack of white paper that he got from the last... Uh, Thing. Sorry, <laughs> three hundred. Um, like they read three hundred thousand documents. Yeah, it was nine investigations. Bullshit. You know, first and, people uh, on that committee have to be able to read, don't they? Yeah. How how many bodies did they find uh, in that? Uh, you know, we had that California killer. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe maybe that was the investigation. Oh, the, the ex cop. Yeah. 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 And it was, and they did use DNA, but the DNA came back, or the. D- there was an error in the processing of the DNA. I well, forgot. Well, it came back uh, from 23 and Me, and now they're saying that Alex is the Golden State Killer. Yeah. Is that, is that a joke? Yeah. Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's doing the, Who's doing your writing for you these days? <laughs> it, it would be Michael played, Cohn. Uh, huh? <laughs> no. I played a drum beat, a drum roll, but uh, then you'll you'll get mad at me. Well, of course, because we have to determine whether it's a joke or not, not your sound machine. Oh, okay. Well, yes. Well, Stormy Daniels' lawyer was pretty unhappy. (laughs) Huh? Oh, he was having a happy fizzies party yesterday with those students. Yeah, but today he's not having a happy fizzies party. Why? Why? I think the one of the judge ruled to ice this for, or to to uh, pull back for like sixty days. Why something happens in the Cone case? There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm already. Uh, uh, you're ready for what? I don't know. Any, if anybody needs a musical sting, yeah. <laughs> I can do, do it. We, do we have to put? Well, him in wait a, a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> just, just you know, play music which fits the drama of what we say, like. So what did happen in court today? Do you know the Phantom of the Opera? That might be copywritten. <laughs> Just keep going. No, you, you get, you're getting to sound, sound like a baseball game now. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> That's my soap opera music there. Yeah. So tell us how to survive sing, singing uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game in the seventh, in the bottom of the seventh. What, what lay people need to know when they get up on that microphone and, and sing, across a, sing across a great open, vast entity like that? <laughs> Make sure you have a good drink. You must drink. always get the right words in the right place. <laughs> it's That's good. Otherwise, you'll end up with Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Take me out to the game by me some peanuts and cracker jacks i don't care if i ever get back for it through toot toot for the home team if they don't win it's a shame for it's one two three strikes you're out at the old ball game and that doesn't work at all most people can't sing the star spangled banner but then again it's a philly really sucky song yeah, yeah. it's got like a four octave range that yeah it's tune. got a horrible range and most people could you start not down here oh say can can you see? See? and then later on oh, the rockets red blue <laughs> <laughs> you do know that the national anthem was a drinking song called Anacreon in Heaven. Well, the, the, that's only been our national anthem since like 1924 or something like 30, that. 34, I think. Before that, yeah. it was, yes, we have no bananas. Yes, I know it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good song. Now we've got plenty of bananas. Yeah. Um <laughs> Oh, I miss that banana sorry, song you had on Sirius. It make any sense. What banana song? Well, I heard a song today on my iPhone, I, I, my iPhone uh, because I have it on shuffle, and I don't know where I got it, but the song is called something like Leave the Dishes in the Sink, Ma. Do you know this song? Spike Jones. Is it? Yes. Well, how does it's it... the Coming Home from War song. Uh, they're coming home from the war, so leave the dishes in the sink. Think We're all going to have fun yeah. and celebrate the yeah. juniors' return from the war. I love that song. I was walking into a into a restaurant to meet girlfriend, or no, I was walking into the apartment, or coming off the. I know I was coming off the bus with her. <laughs> and, Location's very important to this. Well, joke. no, and I'm singing. You know, <laughs> leave the dishes in the sink, ma, and she's going, "What? What are you listening to?" And yes, you're right. It was Spike Jones. Spike Jones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you don't he remember. just learned um, hot. We, he Spike called it hot chicornia. It's like that. Right. That one. Yeah. And we um, we say this next song. Uh, well, it's a, it was a it's sort of a political song. It's an old Russian folk song. And uh, anyway. Please rise for the next national anthem. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait until Putin comes over here. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. Finally, finally get to see our president. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we'll have to depend on Korea to save us. <laughs> well, you know, North and South Korea are going to merge. By the way, and... did you see Kim Jong Un today and the South Korean president, Prime yeah. Minister? Yeah, Herb. shaking hands over the border. That was a not, great well, show. Not only shaking hands, hugging. There mm -hmm. was hugging. They were holding hands. It, Doesn't Kim Jong Un look like a little kid? You know. You well, you know something. I have street. to say one thing about Kim Jong Un. He smiles a lot. Even you know, even uh, I always notice that in videos of him. He he smiles a lot, which Trump never does. You know, it's not. I I, I like the fact uh, that he smiles. There's, yeah. There's something human there. I like his hair. A lot Trump of people smiles like his when hair, he talks but I love about it. himself. It's very Devo. Who are you talking about? We're Whose talking hair about... did you say? You did not just say that you liked <laughs> Trump's hair. No, no, we said hair. Kim yeah. Jong Un's hair. It's very Devo. You got you got Republicans on the brain, Renee. It's it, he's talking about your your mentor there, Kim Jong Un. Oh, Kim Jong Un. No, yeah. he's got Trump's nice new hair. best friend. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, if, if you have the same hairstylist. <laughs> God no. Well, actually, if you've never actually, seen that you, video uh, with Trump walking up, if you Google or YouTube yeah, no, and then put in it. Trump walking up airplane and the hair just and the back of his off. head opens up like oh, he had a scalp reduction. Oh. You ever see? You ever see in the mouth of madness? It was a lot like that. Yeah. So bad. But no, I uh, uh, he he lately he's had a haircut recently. He's gotten they've cut it down a lot. Yeah. You know. Every three couple of weeks, it's getting shorter and shorter. Well, maybe uh, they're trying to attack, glue it to his head so it doesn't happen again. Well, he realizes that at this point, he's never going to go back on The Apprentice, you know, because now he's no longer an, an apprentice. Now he's he's the real deal. So, uh, well, the question is, is he going to jail? 
Yeah, yeah, he had scalp reduction, and that's why uh, his hair, they said, that's why his hair does what it does. Is no. Is the reason why he thinks the way he does? Because his scalp's too tight? Well, they had to remove part of his brain to do it. Mm. <laughs> okay. He had a shitload of plugs. That's why his hair does what it does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. It is, that is, that's so, just. A lot of times, there were times when people were doing scalp reductions and plugs. Now, when I got my plugs, I did not have a scalp reduction. What, what is a scalp reduction? Uh, they cut it and they pull it together, and it gives you less uh, uh, area that you have to fill. Just, but then that's kind of like a. If you do that, it's then the most like stupid idea I ever heard of in my life. Huh? Uh, I don't know if it's like a facelift, but uh, well, you're pulling here, you're pulling there. You pull you up, shake you around, and chop off the. Slide. Oh, by the way, that was another thing. By the way, I, I, Patrick's next. That was another thing that Hedy Lamar invented. Uh, she invented the part of the facelift where you cut back here instead yeah. and then sew oh, it's, yeah. along the lines. And for That's years, what, for years, she got had terrible facelifts in the last years of her life. But for well into her 60s, she had some wonderful looking facelifts, you know, mm -hmm. and she had told them how she wanted it done here, cut here. And it became a standard of the industry. So she yeah. kind of invented a new form of, of facelift, too. Yes, Patrick. A plastic surgery. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Renee, look, look look pa Patrick, I said Patrick. Yeah, yes. well, I was just telling Renee to do something. And reminds me very much of what some of the native tribe did to the white men called scalping. I mean, isn't that the same fucking thing? <laughs> It looks like it. Yeah, they just didn't sew it backed up together, you know. Usually they just left them in a pile. Well, yeah, but I mean, it was a reduction of the area they had to fill. Yeah. But, and that's another point, though. It, that doesn't make any sense to do that just from the sheer fact is that we know that if your scar doesn't heal correctly, that you're going to have this big gash where the scar... It, it, oh, no. <laughs> Don't do shit. Like that. <clears throat> they don't do that anymore, do they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, from what I hear, bitches love scars. So, you know, they, it, it, yeah, but your hair wouldn't grow back right. It's yeah. one thing to have a scar in your arm or something, but your your hair won't grow over a scar. But if you have it where your part is, who cares? Yeah, well, then you got a permanent part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I just looked up scalp reduction surgery, and the pictures that they're showing is of Trump. Uh, I'm not. I'm not oh, there you go. Did, it, I, and so Steve Bannon did this, right? Look up lobotomy, you get the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lobotomy gets uh, Ben Carson. <laughs> He's the only guy that hasn't spent money on stuff that he wasn't supposed to. What? Uh, what? Ben huh? Carson. You know, and, uh, his $30,000 $30, table was that other guy, Pruitt, wasn't no, it? Ben no, Carson. Oh. Pruitt was, was the bulletproof got, desk and the phone booth, the sound yeah. booth. Who got this so cone of Got to keep your scandal straight. By the way, by the way, did you hear that it was interesting uh, that um, uh, Sean Hannity, the business he did with Cone had to do with uh, real estate. And what mm -hmm. he did is he built a lot of homes... Uh, and he got EPA loans. Was was it EPA loans he got or FHA loans? Uh, and loans. FHA loans for the Federal Housing Administration. He got government loans to build them with. Uh, this yep. is the guy who doesn't believe in this sort of thing. But yet, when it comes mm -hmm. time to get the handout, he takes it. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's the Republican way, really. If if it's not illegal, then do it. Just the, fucking what, do yeah. it. By the way, I also saw medley today. Of of Donald Trump eschewing the uh, the Fifth Amendment, I'm tired of these people. Sick and tired of these people who use the Fifth Amendment. And then he's another thing: Fifth Amendment, Fifth Amendment. I hate the Fifth Amendment. Blah 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 blah. Oh, Guess who that. yesterday took the Fifth Amendment? Yeah, his Fifth attorney, Trump. Michael Cohen. 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 You know, anybody who takes the Fifth Amendment's a coward. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, good, great. A mobster, a mobster. Only mobsters take the fifth. Only mobsters take the fifth. That and, and people who build buildings in Manhattan. Uh, yeah, so anyway. So no volcano news. Just to let everybody know, we're good. No lava. Well, it looks pretty decent back there. I don't see any 
smoke or soot or well actually we're all the islands are sucked in did you hear that Kauai got 50 inches Rain. in yeah boy oh, they got standard so. closed uh the yeah are all washed out people are trapped and they can't get out it's not that bad anymore. So what it is is all the people who want to leave has already been removed. They've got one school already open. They've been ferrying food over, and they've got workers that come over during the day. And so, but they had a lot of damage. And I don't know if you guys even give a crap about houses, but I was looking at some of the footage, and they had built houses in uh, near a creek, and they drill, and it looked like they did a cement column of at least 20 plus feet from the deck below and all five columns plus the entire house went into the creek and i was like wow what do we do with our building codes <laughs> well so much so uh, what's all this shit about paradise will you tell me what this is about <laughs> well it's nature i mean just you, because there's a volcano at you, the end of the got, island you, doesn't mean well, i'm gonna have a problem up here Patrick's sitting so it, out there in Wisconsin. What's the worst you get in Wisconsin? Tornadoes? Uh, well, tornadoes, and, and it depends on the amount of snow. Okay. I'm, yeah, frozen so ground. We get oh. flooding. We've got flooding in central Wisconsin and northern Wisconsin. Because <clears throat> last week we got, shit, it was like two feet of snow in some areas, it's and the ground is still frozen in those areas, oh. and now the weather has turned Yeah. In <laughs> that wasn't me. So there's nowhere for the snow to go, and there's a Except lot of fun. down. Yeah. Ooh, not great. I'm hey, sorry. You got in California? Oh, well, where, 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 when's spring coming? You know? <laughs> oh, I'm already... It's already here. This is it's summer. already here. See, there's just poof, proof. Global warming ain't real. Oh, yeah. Right, like because that. everything's cold. That's uh, global. It's funny. People say that. They don't know what global warming is. They don't understand the effects of global warming. You know what? I would just be happy if more Republicans got on board and stopped, stopped talking smack well, about I, it. I, I, I wish that all these politicians would quit playing to their party. And and think oh. with their heads, okay? Uh, quit playing the stupid. Yeah, I mean, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? It, it's just um, uh, party before country. Party, party before, before country. Party before country, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's mm -hmm. like the difference between the Republican take on the Russia controversy and the and the Democrats. Do you know how the Republicans are going to turn out? Because you got that ash, what that asshole? What's his name? Uh, who, Nune, um, Nunez, who's in there, yeah. uh, like uh, literally loading the the, the 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 stuff in there, and and so they say what they it's almost like a um, uh, what was the thing they used to do, throw the uh, uh, the stones and then you would just read a passage uh, from runes. a book, the runes and then you read a passage according to the runes and then you'd interpret the passage. Okay. Well, you would everybody would interpret it in a different way depending on what their needs were, and that's what's happening mm -hmm. here. You know. Oh yeah. Um, Tea leaves. Yeah. I mean, everybody has a, has a different idea of what these uh, these papers mean because uh, they want that outcome. And well, it, I'm not sure that matters in any way, shape, or form because there's real law on top of it, and they're going to do a much better job. Or let's rephrase it. Let's give them the benefit of that. They're going to do the job the best they can do, and they're part of our security administration. So somebody's going to handle that, and whether the Republicans think this was a good idea about lying about this, it's, that's their problem. I yeah. still think Russian hookers are the best. Yeah, well, you know what? So uh, is your president. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see this P-tape. <laughs> we will. We will. It, 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 it's it's, it's going to be here eventually. It has to be something really bad because he didn't want to be president. He really wrote a check that his mouth could, didn't want to cash there. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, let me see here. What else has been, is there anything else been happening in the news? Well, of course, we have Bill Cosby, which we talked about last night. Right. He's guilty, but everyone knew that. Well, no surprise. Cut him loose. I, I, don't think, I don't think we were surprised by it. 
Um, so here's a question with Bill Cosby. Do you think it would be a fair punishment because of how long ago the crimes were and they came out with him and how old he is and being blind to just basically say you're under house arrest for the rest of your life? I yeah, th- I, I think I think number one that would be a, a, it, it, a, I guess that would be a big one to Renee to too, be more so. humane than he ever was. Okay, but mm-hmm. it would be humane. And secondly, I don't know that if I'm a prison, I want him there because of the security problems involved, and also because of the fact that he's blind, and they have to accommodate that. You know. Well, why didn't he just play the white card and say? I'm a sex addict, and please refer me to a sex addict clinic, That's and funny. I will do a whole year. Uh, in the I sex don't. Addict I don't clinic. think. I think he's too proud. I I don't think Bill Cosby thinks that he's a sex addict. Mm-hmm. Just do what Charlie Sheen did for fuck's sake. I'm a sex addict. I'm going to sex addict rehab. <laughs> let, let me at that. Yeah, but for, you know, but I maybe mean, does that say something too that he didn't do that? Hey, he should do it. Do you think he has any ludes left? <laughs> probably not now so the problem is phil is your junk isn't going to work for a couple more months is it well, who's the oh, lucky yeah. woman that that's uh, why he wants to knock anyway. him out first yeah. yeah it could be a couple months before he finishes <laughs> but i'm good at peeing yeah but uh, how do yeah you... get a star for that anybody got a gold star <laughs> hey i haven't been able to pee this how, good how, yeah in 10 years. yeah but how does it feel to have a windsock with no wind <laughs> i'll find out <laughs> i have a friend that had a uh prostatectomy, and uh he said uh that it, it doesn't you know it feels different it feels weird but uh you do have an orgasm what do you mean it feels weird well, well, it's, it, uh, orgasms always felt weird. No, but that's what you, know, you wanted feel them like to feel. Regular one. Huh? Doesn't feel like the regular one, he said. Uh, well, oh, wait a minute. Patrick? Well, it, it, I, I said the same thing. I mean, I get orgasm, and, and you know, and I, I, I can come just the same, but it doesn't feel the feeling I have, and Renee, the only one that ever remembered this. Is, is, I, wait, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, it's you have a nerve. Worth a hundred percent. I just need help getting it to work, but I can't feel it in that area. It's just one nerve down uh, my left leg that I feel. Wow. Does that mean you could walk again if you have a nerve that you can actually feel that goes down the leg? Could more nerves attach and? No. no, but he 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 does tell women that if he gets a blowjob, it might make him walk again, and they they try, yeah. they try. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what the one of the reasons I remember that is the fact that the body is freaking amazing. To think that they uh, that it knew to transfer that feeling to anywhere else in the body, much less some place. In the vicinity, I thought that was pretty impressive. Yeah, but then of, if, you're, if yeah, but if your penis winds up working today, you down then run the risk of getting sued. Okay, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's like I'm glad I'm not dating anymore because well, man, I, I would have every woman I went out with sign a piece of paper before we went out on a date. Oh my God, you think we would? It was the option to sign the paper or to go home and take a bubble bath. Because, you know, <laughs> given the choice. <laughs> well, so around me locally, there's this uh, women's group that's having a consent rally. It's not, you know, and they're talking about it's not good enough for a man to have relationships with a woman who is just sitting there and participating in it. She needs to actually say she is consenting to. Mm. I uh, think for my- men, it's probably safer. To be honest. Yeah, I think for men, it's probably safer to carry around a legal document and say, okay, we're going to about to do something. Can you please sign this? 
Yeah, boy, I'm not. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, you know, I think I think dating for guys today is a very dangerous thing. Like, for instance, you know, uh, oh, yeah. where where are you going to meet people the most? Most women you in know, your the, life, the, you're going to the meet first them. Time that, the first time I had relations with my wife, we were out at the bar. You know, I picked her up at the bar. We were both drinking. Oh, baby. You know, we went back to my house and we had relations. You know, and nowadays I'd probably be worried. Hey, <laughs> you've been drinking. You can't legally consent. So, well, I mean, you know, today it's a whole different world out there. Like, for mm -hmm. instance, where do we meet people? Oh, look at you, doggy. Uh, we, we, uh, we Roommates, meet, dog. We, we meet people at 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 work. Usually, we meet people in the environments in which we go around. Uh, uh, and so, you do meet them at work. I would not date somebody at work anymore. Just would not. You know, oh, or even make the attempt. Even drinking, if she came on to me, get... and if she came on to me and wanted to do something, I'd have her sign a fucking piece of paper. I'm not taking okay. that chance. It was under <laughs> duress, <laughs> and you know, get out your checkbook. Yes, but, uh, yes, Renee. So the listening to you guys, me, if they weren't drinking, they wouldn't have no, done it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. oh honey, we, uh, there's so many reasons why you, the only reason <laughs> some of you men get laid is because we're fucking drunk. <laughs> so there's, there's pity fucking and it's true. Um, Alex, you were saying that when you guys go out and date now that you're going to do that. You know what happens when a woman goes out to a bar? We have to check our clothes so they're not too skimpy because we don't want you to get the wrong idea. We can't leave our drinks alone anymore because somebody keeps do you putting have stuff heart, in Can you play heart and flowers? Out. Can you play heart we, and flowers while she's doing this? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, Renee. I won't leave my drink alone either. So, oh, uh, oh, oh, well. See, Jason, if I look like you, I I would be that skeptical as well too. I guard my drinks. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the point: all of the things that we do that we go through when we go out to a bar, it, it's it's a long list of things that we have to do because you guys can't keep your shit straight. Mm -hmm. And why is it our responsibility? Well, wait, 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 but, but, wait. Okay, one, one thing you said, though, Renee, is you said you have to check your clothes. Yeah. To make sure that you're not dressed too skimpy. Why would you be dressing too skimpy in the first place? It depends on where I'm going. Because you're going out to a club. That's what we because, do. Be, because you want people to look at you, right? But looking at a person and touching a person, two completely different things. And, and I agree. It, but and, and there, so, there are certain lines that, you know. Right. Just, I don't know. Jason, I, I, I don't know if if you're if you're staring at somebody, whether it's a outfit stare or whether it's a funky looking person stare, it's going to come across the same way. Just don't do it. But if you just so take a quick I, but, glance at so somebody, don't don't look. You know, don't dress you provocatively. Don't, have to not look. don't, uh, don't you dress don't have provocatively to not because if you position. are, you are saying stare at me. Yes, not. <laughs> Stop. If staring I were to go out wearing some crazy ass colors staring and stuff, staring is not I'm... the problem. <laughs> it's touching. <laughs> yes. So you know what, Jason? Uh, there's uh, lots of reasons people dress the way they do. All right, and one of them might be attention. And if if you think a woman wore that or somebody wore a particular outfit for attention, then you're gonna look longer. And a look, as long as you're not drooling and slobbering over yourself like some mega person. That's not touching. It's, it's it's only touching you. It ain't touching her. Men men go on dates thinking, "Gosh, I hope she doesn't shoot me down." And women go on dates going, "Gosh, I hope he doesn't shoot me." Yep. Or no. he doesn't rape me, or he doesn't drug me, or I can get yeah. home safe, or you know, let, let's just you know, tons of stuff we have to go through because you guys can't keep your shit straight, and it's not our responsibility. What kind of guys do you find that Who? that? That are like that. I mean, I I have plenty of friends. I went out on dates. I was always a gentleman. I never uh, uh, did anything or came on to anybody unless I gave them a quaalude and they wanted me to. You know. <laughs> yeah. You and me, Phil, were the only guys left. What happens? Yeah. What, what, happen, what happens hats. if the woman? And I've had this happen. If a woman asked you if you had quaaludes and wanted quaaludes, you yeah. know. Well, today you would certainly wouldn't even even. Even if nope, you had them. Nope, nope, get away from nope, me. Nope, nope, go <laughs> away. You're not getting my quaaludes. I'm sorry. Here's the thing. Here's the thing I don't get about Bill Cosby. And I was saying this to girlfriend tonight. Somehow, I don't know about you, 
But I don't like my women comatose when I'm having sex with them. But on Quaaludes, they weren't comatose. They were totally aware. You, Jesus, you, we're talking about women who can't give consent and there seems to be some fucking gray area? No, the, you, if you, she is incapacitated... Incapacitated, but of, of her own... Free will. Free will, and, and, and she asks so you for the So just because drugs. she passed out drunk because she didn't, oh. she went on a diet and drink, didn't drink the right amount of sugar before she went out and had well, a whole bunch minute, of wait alcohol. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, on a second. Floor, Hold on it, a right? second. I think that it's important that we have, uh, you women should have to take some responsibility for yourselves. We take okay. responsibility. We take responsibility for birth control because even Donald Big Trump. Big fucking deal. I'll pay for it. Okay. Death. I'm talking about, you know, uh, there are, there are some women out there who they, you know, if, if some guy's got some Coke or he's got some Quaaludes or something, she, uh, she's going to hang around him. Okay. He's in the seventies. Well, that's well, that's, no, but it's still to so this day, you don't think there are women out there who want to get high? You know, drug dealers work that way, though. That's exactly how drug dealers work. So, if you didn't want to be a drug dealer and you didn't want to have a bunch of, then don't have any no coke near you, no mm. pot near you, then you never maybe charge the women. We've been joined hey, by Jack Bishop, by the way. Yeah, huh? I'm going to probably get in trouble for this, but uh, so so is the story of my life. Uh, I can't begin to tell you back when I was young and had all of my own hair and teeth the women who would throw themselves at me because of what I did for a living yep I know that feeling and the one thing I learned very very quickly the quickest way to piss one of them off is either to come on or not to come on you know, and so I just got so, uh, you know, I hear what Renee is saying, but I've known some pretty damn slutty women in my time, not all of which I chose to go to bed with. Well, I, I, I can I add one other thing to that? Some, just went I, I, don't, I don't know about you, but I became very suspicious in my life as yes. to whether a woman yes. wanted to be with me because I was Alex Bennett or she liked the guy that I was, you know? Yeah. And I used to. I used to tell them, are you going to bed with me or are you going to bed with the guy that's on the radio? So they don't know what you look like if you're on the radio. Just tell them you're an undertaker and see if they'll still ball, uh, bang you. <laughs> well, they know what I look like. Yeah, yeah, and they knew what I look like because I did a lot of television. So, you yeah, know, but, they, but, but I look like because yeah. I did TV also. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, but the thing is that I became very suspicious of anybody. If I ever got a feeling that the reason the person wanted to be with me was because uh, I was Alex Bennett, then I would dump them very fast, very fast, you know. One of the scariest moments of my life, and luckily uh, I found out in time, was uh, this listener became obsessive about me and not only did I find out that I find out she was crazy, she was 16. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. No, that was the good part of it. The crazy was the horrible part about it. <laughs> the, the crazy was the horrible part, yeah. And Eastwood that uh, made that movie play Misty for me? Yes. yes. And that, you know, that's basically what you're describing. And every guy that's ever been a celebrity of any sort, yep. anywhere, has come across people like them. Uh, you know, this 16-year-old broke it. You know, I was like 20, 27, 28. She found out where I lived, would come to my apartment and sit by the door. We call it stalking. Yep. Yes, but it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> stalking back then. We didn't have a term for it. Yep, got one now. And, um, and eventually she got... One of the maintenance people at this apartment complex that I was in to let her in, saying she was my sister. <laughs> wow. Uh, there are a lot of crazy folks out there on in all genres and all I genders. I agree, uh, and, but I don't think you guys think. I don't think you're looking at this in an overall picture. I think in this day and age, there's a lot of things that women have to do to to be prepared to go out. But I think a lot of those things are things that guys need to be wary about as well. 
Because well, Jason's right. I mean, I look at it this way. Somebody might be trying to drug you, but that's a very good point. If you're, you know, somebody I was interested in <clears throat> using as a fuck buddy, um, I could do this. I, I could do the same thing. <laughs> so the, the big deal is, is you got to watch yourself. You can't put, you, you got to watch your, your drink. You can't leave it alone when you go to the bathroom. You can't go out without a wing person. You can't go out without a wing person that doesn't have a clue now. But you know, so, women, are, women always went out in groups. In packs. It's safer. Yes, Jason has it's his hand safer. up. Jason has his hand up. So, about that. Jason has so his hand up. He, here's something that is even like, it, it's really scary. You know, my wife, she she even mentioned something about, you know, kind of, I don't necessarily know that I was joking around or not, saying that I've raped her because she's been drunk and we've had sex. And it's like, do you realize usually you're the one who is the one who is instigating me and coming on to me, but you don't remember it in the morning. And even just saying that, that's not even joking around anymore. That's well, scary. She, that that thinking, literally, that like killed my libido. Wow. Was she being prostate. serious or was she being, <laughs> is she joking? Because you two joke quite a bit. So yes, was she but joking? It, I think part of it was on a serious side because she okay. doesn't remember us doing stuff the night before because we were drinking, but she was the instigator. And okay, then so she's this, sitting there and saying that, you know, even maybe joking around using the word rape, that is not funny anymore. No, no it's, it's not. even to your husband. And that literally, well, but, you know, so that, it, that, that changed well, my sex drive. And, and yet, for a defense that are psychologists, that is a common fantasy for many women. Yes, yeah. it is. Being overpowered. Yeah. And, uh, so but, says my baseball bat. But, um, Jason. <laughs> You might want to have her uh, talk to somebody because she has a, an interesting point of view and she probably needs to maybe discuss this with somebody else because if she feels that way, that's one thing. If she was joking with you, that's another thing. And it was an inappropriate joke. So she might, be, she might need to talk to somebody where she figures out where she is on that spectrum. So do you, your, does, your, does your insurance company have mental health benefits? Yes, Kevin. Food for thought. I know it's getting towards the end here. I drove a truck for 30 years. And <laughs> the things I saw in a truck. <laughs> you know how many you know how many tits I saw in a truck? Yeah. <laughs> you know how many times I was told but to how pull many over? good ones? You know how I'm many guessing times it was I was even told number. to pull over? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know how many times I didn't pull over and how many times I did and almost got out of my truck? Kevin, I had a you know what? I've got a name and a phone number on the side of my truck, and I never did it. Right. Kevin, I had a that. girlfriend who loved to flash truck drivers' <laughs> tits. But We'd can you only some... imagine what could have happened? Mm. And I went into radio. <laughs> oh, I saw so I, – I got a whole show on stuff that I could tell you about well, it's too bad we don't have we don't have you out there now with a video camera pointed but we're at out down of time. parts. You can do that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. let me say this: if you guys want to continue this conversation, you know, come join me because I wasn't planning on going down this road. But this is a hell of a lot more interesting that, than what I was that's thinking. Jack about Bishop, talking. ladies and gentlemen, he does the intersections on next over most of these same stations with Amy Manuel, or as I like will to call her, the I man hater. Talk about stuff. What? Will Amy allow him to talk about this stuff? Uh, that as I long don't as it's know. not toilets. No, I ain't even going to go there. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's not toilets, we can have any conversation we well, want. Well, the, the toilets she didn't like talking about were the ones you wanted to buy. She really? bought them. Yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> I already bought them. <laughs> yes. Hey, Phil, thank you. Thank you to You're Jason welcome. as well. Thank you to Patrick as always. Lee, always a great deal to see you. Always wonderful. Nice to be back. I'll, I'll call you again. Please, more often. Renee, thank you for joining us. And, of course, Kevin, we want to hear more of those stories next time. Meanwhile, why don't you all give a big wave goodbye to our audience out there and the, on the Internet and say goodnight. We'll see you next week. Thanks for being with us. Ah, that's it. That's our Citizens Panel for tonight. It was a Friday night, and we went everywhere with the conversation, and that's good, too. Jack and Amy next over most of this same uh, gab net. 
And then uh, at 1 o'clock this morning, hey, you want to be tuned to Connections. They're here, uh, Eastern Daylight Time. We'll see you again on uh, Tuesday, right after Damien does the exchange at 9.30. We'll be on at 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye.